Hi, I'm FD Zucata, and I'm here with another tutorial video on the Cube2 editing engine. Um, this is a recent feature added in the newest edition of Sour Rotten, which is Collect. And um, some of the editors I've known for a while that have been playing since God knows how long um, still haven't figured this out, or not figured this out, they still haven't been told it existed. Um, it's a new feature in which you can have your water and glass and lava, but lava doesn't really change. I'll show you that later. Uh, water or glass materials, but then you can have four different like settings of those materials. So for example, as you can see here, we have water, but then we have our three different RGB waters over here, which you can change the color of later. I'll show you how to. Same with glass over here. So basically what you do is uh, your basic water command. Um, so let's we have water here, right? You just it's just slash water, all right? But then you add, hold on. Uh, then you add your um, like, like a number, so water two, water three, or water four, and then that gives you um, it's kind of an ID to these different waters. So I'll do an example over here. It may be kind of confusing, but. So water two, now we have our second type of water. Water three, our third type of water. And then water four, which is our fourth type of water. And yeah, so in order to change the colors, um, some people may not know the water color command like this. Uh, let's change the water color to white. So then our default watercolor becomes white. Um, let's change that back. Just to reset it, just type 0. And it goes back to 2780, which is default. But um, in order to change these, it's pretty self-explanatory. So you do water, col water 2 color. Let's change this to, uh, I don't know, 151, 25, 100. Right? And it goes to kind of a whitish, grayish color. But um, if we want to do something else, we could do 150, 0, 255, and it goes to like a purple um, or magenta. So water 3, so yeah, here. Um, water 3 color, we could change it to something random. Oh, by the way, your water scales only go from 0 to 255. It's just how sour works. So, um,. This is how you change water through color. Just water through color, and then let's do 255. Let's just do white again. So this is also water through. Whoops. But see, there's green. So it's pretty self-explanatory. And now with the glass, it's the, basically the same thing. So glass 1. Oh, sorry, not glass 1. Glass 2. Glass 1 is a command. This is technically glass 1. And then glass 3. And glass 4. Uh, sorry if you can hear the truck outside. There's a garbage truck, but anyway. Um, it's kind of glitchy. You can see through it, and it's kind of weird. Um, but it's still pretty cool. Um, like, if there's white, it basically overrides, like, everything else, and it just looks white. But, um, basically, it's the same idea with glass, and the same idea with lava, but lava doesn't really change anything, because it's still red from the outside, and let's change lava color to blue, so 255, like there, but it doesn't really change anything, unless when you jump inside it, it's blue, if, yeah, you, it looks blue, but either way, you still fall into your terrible, painful demise. And yeah, um, another quick tip, it's pretty well known, but um, in case you didn't already know, if let's say you're creating something and um, like, let's say a lake, so I'll just do a little pond here. And you have filled it with water but then you don't, you actually want to get rid of the water and make this like a really deep hole or something, but don't want to get rid of this. I know it's a pretty simple explanation, but um, some people haven't heard of this, so this is really just for them. If you want to get rid of the water without deleting everything else around it, like, like that, 
then you can just type slash error and it will get rid of all the materials in there and just replace it with just nothingness or error as the command suggests. Uh, yep, that's that's basically it. Uh, this is FD Zucata, and I'll see you next time in my tutorial for basic V commands. Have a good one.